Good fish. Alrighty everyone, before we get started fishing this morning, I got my 610 medium extra fast, my 2500 Daiwakage with 10 pound power pro braid. We're going to try the popper here to start things off. Some of the smallies are garden nests, or garden not nests, but they're guarding fry. So hopefully if we throw this popper close to some grass lines, they'll come up and hit it, or just to get this away from their little babies. But uh, I got 12 pound fluorocarbon leader matched with it. So hopefully we can catch some bronze today. This is the little uh, bullet pop from Berkeley, the 60. It's a nice pearl. It's got a blue face and nice dark eyes. It's a pretty cool color pattern. I like it a lot. I've been catching a few fish on it lately, so let's see what happens. Nice fish, nice fish. Come here, buddy. Let's go! That is long. That might help us on the bra, man. What a way to start the morning. That's a long fish. Let's get it on the board. All right, we got a 17 three quarter inch fish. Gonna, it won't upgrade us on the bra, but what a way to start the morning here on the river. Heck yeah. There you go, buddy. There it goes. I don't know if y'all can see them, but there's little uh, smallmouth fry all over the banks here on the Great Miami River. Those little black dots you see. The future fighters of the river. I don't know if y'all can see those or not. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for the aggressive males to protect them. Hooked up. Feels like a good one too. Oh, this is a long fish. Oh, come on, baby. This is big. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Let's go. Oh, oh his mouth's all messed up. Check that out. It's a nice fish. Heck yeah. Alrighty, we're gonna get this fish on the brawl and keep fishing. This top water bite's crazy right now. It's gonna improve us a little bit. Alright, let's get the release video. There it goes. Heck yeah. Alright, so far I'm sitting in sixth place with 111.75 got a bunch of legends up at the top pretty satisfied so far oh. bird just pooed on me Look at that. The bird just pooed on me from the bridge. Jeez. Oh, got one. Is it 
nice one too. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Dude, they are crushing the popper this morning. Look at that. That's when you know the top water bites good right there. Oh man, I don't even wanna, my hands all up in that. Jeez, look at that. Poppers all the way down his throat. There we go, got it out. What a beautiful fish. Probably like a 14, 14 and a half. There you go, buddy. So what I'm doing with this popper this morning, it's about nine o'clock almost. I've caught all my fish in the past hour. But I'm just taking this popper and looking for pockets. See how this grass kind of creates like a little calm pocket? These smallmouth like to hang out there. And also, when they get done um, guarding their nests and their fry become free swimming, this fry will swim around in these little pockets because the current can't wash them away. And they're like little, <clears throat> they're like little nurseries. So what you're doing with this popper is you're just getting it in there and you're creating a situation where the smallmouth wants to defend his babies and he'll uh, hit that popper pretty good. So once you find these little pockets, this is a textbook example right here in front of us. This pocket right here, there was probably a bed here in the, uh, a few weeks ago. And now those little baby smallmouth are up in this grass and taking shelter in the bigger, the male smallmouth. Oh, we just missed a good one. Oh. The male smallmouth will be here and he'll protect all the babies. That was crazy. Just had a nice blow up while I was talking to you guys. <clears throat> we just pulled a 14 and a half inch out of this pocket too. You also don't necessarily have to be popping it. Just the presence of this little fish presentation on the surface looks like it's going around and chasing its little babies around and trying to eat them. So half the time you don't even really have to pop it. I've been getting them off the pop this morning but you can just let it float around as long as your line's tight and you're ready for that bite because it comes out of nowhere. Just keep your line, line nice and straight-ish. And when that fish goes to take it, you wait, and feel, wait until you feel the pressure of the fish and then hook set. I also want to thank my buddies uh, Utah and Michael for suggesting I use the popper this morning. So far, it's been an awesome, awesome day. I've got three fish. I've only been here for about an hour or so. So you can't beat that. And they're just absolutely inhaling this little popper. Just got, uh, just met with Mark down here on the river and they gave uh, all the veterans and people who served in the armed forces some big uh, J5 joshies. I'm excited to throw these. I'm gonna take them to the Ohio River. Anywhere really and catch some big fish on these. Check this special edition color out that they made. That's awesome. Thanks again, Mark, and having a good time in the small jaw brawl. Oh God, just got crushed. <laughs> the plop, the little Berkeley popper, man. This is an absolute blast. He's not a big one, but that eat was incredible. Right on the paws too. Oh, chill out, buddy. There we go, guys. Move locations, switch spots, proud on this side of the bank. That's a beautiful 14 and a half, 15 incher. Let's let him go here. There he goes. Heck yeah. That was awesome. Oh, that was awesome. Oh my goodness, there's a way bigger one that's following it. Jeez. Come here, buddy. He came out of the water completely. 
That was awesome. Crushing it on the little popper. That's I'm having a great morning. There you go, buddy. Oh, oh, no. What are you doing? The other way. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, God. This is a big fish, guys. Looks big. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Wow. He just crushed the popper, dude. Look at that. A long fish i don't know if he's gonna be 18 and a quarter though check out that gmr smalley on the top water that's a really long fish let's go check it out on the board we need bigger than 18 and a quarter to improve our to improve our small draw bra length eighteen inches wow what a fish Fish Ohio, Smalley. All right, let's get a release on this one. We are just crushing on the plopper down here. The little popper, I keep saying pop plopper. That is a long, beautiful GMR Smalley. Oh, ow, oh, buddy, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll let you back, I'll let you back. 18 incher, there he goes. That was an awesome eat. Oh, <laughs> I just missed a good one. He came straight out of the water. That was awesome. Another thing I like about this little uh, Bullet Pop 60 is the way it's shaped. It's almost, it's just like how it's named. It's like a bullet. It's pointed like an arrow. So you can cast this and when you cast it, you're casting it tail in first so it flies through the air. You can really get some distance with this thing come up on a nice little pocket here see if there's a smolly hanging in it oh oh god I wasn't even paying attention guys let's watch where I was stepping <laughs> I just heard a splash. What an absolute tank. Are you serious? What? Wasn't even paying attention. I just had my popper in that little pocket of grass. I, I had a good feeling there'd be one over there. But I was <laughs> literally stepping to my right. And if you, some of this mud's like really deep. So you gotta be careful. I don't wanna get stuck down here, but just ate the pop. The popper heard a splash. Check that out. That's a good one. I don't think he's going to help us. I'll see. Yeah, it's not going to help us, but it's an awesome fish nonetheless. We got a 17 incher. Another gorgeous, gorgeous GMR Smalley on top water. It's got a little blind eye there. <laughs> see you later buddy come up on a nice looks like to be about a foot and a half to two foot flat right here and it's away from the main current so it's all calm water through here so this should be an excellent spot to throw this little popper hopefully we can pick up a few more before the day's over no no heron back up jesus green heron try to eat my popper have been a bad day for him. Oh, had something come up and hit it. Oh. There we 
go. That's a good fish. Sail the weeds. Sail the weeds, sail the weeds. That's a good fish. Let's use the net on this one, I think. <laughs> oh my god! We just got a pig, guys. <laughs> this one's probably going to upgrade us. Oh my goodness. Look at this topwater fish right here, guys. Look at that. That's a good one. Let's get this one on the board and see if he'll upgrade us or not. He came over and awake. All I seen was awake, and I was like, holy smokes. Sure enough, he just destroyed it. Man, that's a tank. Okay, let's get a measurement on this one. We need more than 18 and a quarter to improve my overall inches right now. 18 and a half, guys. 18 and a half. Heck yeah. All right, we got an 18 and a half incher that'll upgrade us. Release video on this beast. Try not to fall in here. There it goes. <laughs> Let's go. All right, I'm gonna call it down here at the Great Miami River this morning. Fish for about three and a half hours from like 8.30 to 11.30ish. Fished a few hours this morning, on, all on top water, and the bass were absolutely crushing the popper. Once again, I wanna thank Michael and Utah. They're like, man, just throw the popper on, you'll be all right. I was like, all right, come down here. End up upgrading like two fish on the small jaw bro. 18 and three quarters was the biggest fish today. Caught an 18 and a half inch, 18 inch fish, a 17 and three quarters, and a 17 inch fish on top this morning. That was insane. I can't, I still, I'm at a loss for words, honestly. It was an epic day down here at the Great Miami River. I got to head back to Southeast Ohio and Athens. Hopefully maybe get some big old uh, smallmouth in the Hocking River. Bites heating up. Obviously the topwater bites on, so that'll be fun at the Hocking River as well. But the little Berkeley Bullet 60. It's like a pearl color, like a shad color. But just popping it along the weeds along the bank this morning absolutely was the ticket. I got blow ups left and right. I probably caught a dozen fish today, probably more. All, all of them were decent too. All of them were 14 inches plus. 14 to 18, three quarters inch was the size range today. Absolutely epic day. If you enjoyed the action, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys out in the water. Let's go!